Well, hello everyone. It's Matlock here, and I'm back in the Electrify warehouse. And what was left for me today? Why, it's a Royal Dutch Gazelle. I don't know anything about the Royal Dutch Gazelle, but I do know some stuff about the African Gazelle. It's a species of antelope. It runs in short bursts at 60 miles per hour. So the unboxing and putting together process, that'll be another video because that's going to take a while. So go find that. But for now, let's just skip ahead to where the bike is constructed, shall we? Hey! <laughs> the Gazelle. This thing looks... It's got like a sleek, low-profile kind of thing. You, at a distance, you might not even know this is an electric bike. It's pretty... It's large. I'm, I don't know if I'm making that up or not, but I feel like it's higher. Yes, I'm definitely, this is the highest I've ever been on an e-bike. We've got keys with some kind of symbol. Oh, this is like a rear wheel lock. How do I do it? Okay, there we go. So you can lock your wheel. Ooh. Okay, so the key comes out when you lock it but then it stays in when it's unlocked. So I guess that's just like a feature so you don't forget it. There's another keyhole right here that I'm assuming this key goes into. So that undoes that. And then there's our battery, our Bosch power tube. Oh, that was easy. Just unclips. Oh, yeah. So yeah, there's the battery. It's light, cylindrical. And up. So you got to turn the key to get the little sil silver stopper out of the way. Yeah, there you go. Two clicks, one click for that, one click for that. Cool. And our plastic thing. Let's see. Pop that on. There you go. Okay, that's easy. Keys out. Good. Let's put it back in our wheel lock. Her up. And yeah, I guess that key just lives there because you can't take it out. So you got a nice little rack back here for your milk crates, for your dog carrier, for your friend. I love storage space. I love strapping stuff onto my bike because I hate wearing backpacks. That's the power buttons on the top of the screen there. Just one click on and off, real easy. Off, eco. Tour, Sport, Turbo. So yeah, this bike has a lot of different settings. It's a pedal assist, I assume. I'm probably just gonna stick with Turbo most of the time, because that's my, my happy place, but I'll see what each one of those does. Brake lights on. I love a nice brake light with a light. I've got a reflector and a light. How many gears we got? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a 10 speed, I think. Charging port, plugging it in, charging her up. Speed lock. We got open, we got lock. What is that? It's on the shock, so maybe it's a shock lock, so it's open right now. Shocks are working, let's close it. Yeah, and they're locked up. Okay, decide if you want your shocks on or off. I like them on, personally, because I like going off sweet jumps. Got a beautiful bell. The gazelle bell, I call it. I was kind of hoping instead of a bell, it would be a button that would make a gazelle honk. Like, oh yes. They've got a little, see that little red thing moving? Yeah, that's a nice visual indication of what gear you're in. I love those. It's got a Bosch motor. And that's quality. I got some Bosch tools. They're a trusted name brand company, so. I'm gonna take this for a ride. Y'all are coming with me. I'm gonna strap y'all onto the handlebars and we're gonna go see how the uh, gazelle handles the wild streets of Austin. Let's go. I'm gonna take the gazelle on our little crash course. Let's start with pedal assist off. I'm going down a hill now, so it doesn't really matter, but. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it functional. It functions as a regular bike just fine, like a regular 10 speed. That's not why we're here. We're here to be assisted. I'm in eco mode now. Um, this is the lowest possible 
amount of pedal assist. So we're gonna see how much it gives me. So I can definitely feel it. All right, let's bump it up. Eco to Tour. This is an athlete's bike. It's got pedal assist, but it's kind of like when your friend is spotting you at the gym with two fingers. Like it'll help you out, but it's not gonna do the work for you. There's no throttle. It's not gonna let you be lazy pretty much. Like you have to pedal. I can see this being a bike for people that go out every Sunday and ride around the hill country of Austin and uh, go 50 miles on a standard 10 speed. All right, so we have arrived on South Congress, South Congress Avenue, and it's a hill going down, so I'm thinking of going 20 miles per hour. I want to get it up to 40. I want to see if this thing will allow me if I just full tilt pedal. If I can get going real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30. 32, 33, 34, 35. Whew. All right. So going down a hill, I managed to get 35 miles per hour pedaling my took us off. You know, it was my birthday this weekend and I ate a bunch of cake, ate a bunch of pizza pie, tacos, drank beer. So uh, I think this is the universe telling me it's time to sweat. So the best part about this bike for sure is that it is beautiful. It's, uh, it looks like any other beautiful road bike you would find. Uh, it's nice nice and stealthy. Like, like I said, the battery's that nice cylindrical shape. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my next e-mobility experience. We're gonna have something else in here pretty soon. So uh, stick around for that. And I will see you next time. Help us keep these videos going by leaving a like, leaving a comment, and of course, subscribing to our channel. Thanks, y'all.